Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Thursday, December 14th, 2017. We had snow all night long last night. It was a light, fluffy snow. But we probably ended up with about six inches of snow altogether. So this morning when I got home, the panels were completely covered and so were these guys. And so I uh, cleaned them all off this morning. Uh, it's been a very, very, very cold day again. We didn't get down to the 8 degrees we did the other night, but this morning it was 12. And I think our high today was 19. So very cold day here at the homestead, but that's, you know, it's part of winter, unfortunately. It's what we got to deal with. But uh, so when I woke up, there was a little bit of snow, as you can see, on the bottom of the panels here. So I cleaned those off. Hey, there's Mr. Lucy. What's going on, Mr. Luce? And, yeah. And over there's Mr. Buddy. They both ventured out of the house for the moment. So I'm sure they'll want to go back in shortly. Uh, these panels were more covered because, obviously, the angle. So I cleaned them off again as well. We only pulled in .2 off of these panels over here and .1 off of these panels today. But... I knew, because it was still snowing this morning, even after I cleaned them off, so I knew they were going to get covered again, and uh, and they did, so it definitely affects the, you know, the input of what we get in, and, you know, because we were seven days away from the winter solstice, it's, uh, you know, this time of year we don't get a whole lot of sunshine, I mean, it is probably 3.30 in the afternoon, and the sun is way down over there someplace, so... You know, it's that time of year. Uh, what can you do? That sun will be down quick. And uh, there's not really much we can do about it. But uh, anyway, so we got quite a bit of snow. Um, you can see on the barrel there, there's snow on top of there. We pro like I said, we probably got about six inches all together. And, uh, you know, it's, like I said, I think the cats are going to want to go in here. So I have the generator on, as you can probably hear. So hold on, let me let these guys back in. Come on, babies. Come on, Luce. That a boy. Um. Yeah, so we got... I mean, I know I've showed you guys this before, but our generator is out here, and it's hooked in, and... That's how we, you know, that's our backup power. And still, for right now, we're obviously still use it, utilizing that, which is fine. Uh, like I said, the ultimate goal is to wean that out altogether. As I redo the solar uh, panels and add more panels to it, which is going to happen in the spring, then we're going to be in much better shape, hopefully. So, it, like I said, it's a, it's a work in progress. And... You know, but let's put it from the beginning of when we got up here. This is now our start of our third winter up here. Uh, you know, we are definitely in much better shape than we were then. Next winter we'll be in better shape than we were this winter. I mean, it's just, it's a progression. As long as you keep working at things methodically, you're going to get there. And that's what a lot of people really don't understand because we live in an instant gratification society where people want everything done yesterday. And that doesn't always work that way. But, uh, you know... It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. So, anyhow, uh, let's see. A couple things I wanted to talk about. Uh, um, I have to laugh. I, I watch the... I don't, obviously, I don't have a television here, but I'll, I'll watch the television at work. And, um, and, I, and they were talking about how, you know, the media just continuously just hammers on... Um, you know the president and it's just it, it's amazing it, and it's funny because they sure didn't do those attacks on Obama well he was their golden boy they just loved him and they loved Hillary too and I just I never got that but uh, you know it's just it's amazing that any anything Trump does you know they just want to bash it and I, I honestly I believe the guy wants to help I really truly believe that I think he wants to like he says in his slogan, make America great again. Now you can agree or disagree with that. And, you know, um, I know he's amped up the military huge again. And, uh, you know, but, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, there's so many things 
that could happen positive wise um, you know and I, and I said I believe I've said this before if the one campaign promise that he keeps of working on our infrastructure in this country if he does that no, the number of people he could put back to work would be amazing number one uh, you know and when I say infrastructure I mean you know working on the electrical grid working on our <coughs> excuse me our waterways um, everything is so antiquated that it's ridiculous and it's outdated and it's just it's in rough rough shape and um, so you know it's uh, it's not easy and um, it, it, you know it's it, things have to be done in those processes you just can't wait until there's a problem and then try to fix it I mean if you look at that dam that we had out there I believe I'm not going to say where it was because as soon as I say it wrong, somebody's going to hammer me on it. But there was a dam out in the west, and everybody will know exactly what I'm talking about. Then they'll put it in the comments, which is great. I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, they had all the issues with last year. Well, it was something that needed to be addressed and fixed before then, and it was never done. So they waited till it was, like, horrible, and then they had to do something about it, which ended up costing so much more. It doesn't make any sense to me. If something is not right, you take care of it, you fix it, you know. Uh, our, our grid is very, very vulnerable, and uh, we are very heavy-duty based electronic country. I mean, realistically, if you think about it, um, let's look at it this, look, let's look at this. Most people, like I will go to the grocery store, and uh, I mean, I have my debit card for my checking account. Um, I don't use credit cards, so... You know, I, uh, you know, I get credit card uh, card offers all the time, and I just throw them right in the garbage because I do not want a credit card. But um, with having a debit card, I can use that in, in, instead of cash. And once in a while, I'll do that. If we're doing a grocery shop and I got the money in the checking account, I'll do that. But most of the time, I use cash. Um, but so many people to buy, you know, a couple of small items, all they use is their debit card or their credit card or whatever people don't carry cash anymore and that's that to me that's crazy I mean if the system goes down if the electrical grid goes down how are you going to be able to have any money to do anything number one and what good is that going to do at that point because you're not going to have any access to it you know and it's like but anyway we are very heavily laden on the power um, in this country so everything is electronic so if, if our system which is like I said is very very fragile goes down we're in deep deep trouble I mean you know people have no idea and I, I try to explain that to people and I'll say to them I'll say okay let me ask you a question I'm gonna throw a scenario out to you and you tell me where you're at with this and I'll go okay I said if the lights went out tomorrow and we're not coming back on I go how ready are you food water all those type of things I think there's something on here hold on I gotta okay I got it <laughs> sorry guys um, but uh, it was bothering me it probably wasn't bothering you guys but it was bothering. It was like a hair on the lens um, I, and, I, and I'll say to them it's like you know how ready are you food water stuff like that and most of my answers that I receive are not really not ready at all and I just I just don't get it you know what I mean it's like so these are things that people really really need to think about our electrical grid is very very fragile very fragile and uh, we are so reliant on it it is ridiculous I mean you look at all the electronics in the homes uh, the, the generation that's grown up now like my kids grew up in a generation where there's been laptops since day one you know and uh, so you know laptops and computers it was more computers in the beginning but then it became laptops but um, you know it that's always been part of their lives the phones with you know they've always been phones in their lifetime so you know I'm, I go back to the day where we had pay phones everywhere obviously and uh, you know then then it was beepers everybody had a beeper and uh, then after that then it started out with the cell phone so you know it's uh, and now look at the cell phones now it's crazy but if that system goes down guys you know a lot of these people are going to be lost number one they won't know what to do because you know somebody had made a comment and this is really really good comment 
where technology wise um, the kids of this generation are very stupid because they don't study anything anymore because they can just look it up on their phone and you know that's a nice convenience to have but you need to study these things too so you know what's going on you need to study history to know what's going on and uh, let's say I'm gonna just pan this around here so you guys can see everything but yeah the electrical grid is something that always worries me it's a big concern um, you know it's like I said it's very very fragile and not even EMP wise but if if a coordinated attack went against our power grid we could be down for quite some time and uh, that's kind of frightening so I, I definitely want your guys feedback in the comments what you guys think and uh, you know let me know and I will uh, I will talk to you all tomorrow um, I'm freezing I'm going back in the house Remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. Um, and remember, guys, STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can accomplish these things. You just have to work at it methodically. You know, today's a good day. I slept in today, I'll be honest with you. A uh, good day to sleep. It was freaking cold, not wanting to do much outside. All right? I will talk to you all tomorrow. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.